Okay, here's a 1982 E350 four-wheel drive ambulance that I have for sale. I just wanted to do a quick, quick video of it. It's got 40,232 miles on it, and I have every belief, and I'm pretty sure it does have that kind of miles. Um, it's got a 460 V8. Some of these lights here, they've kind of robbed a few things, so those are are there and repairable, but they're going to need to be fixed, I think. Um, it does have, let's see if I can get myself into some trouble here. Oh, here comes the mail lady went by. Better not do that with the mail lady, huh? Um, most of the things do work in it. Um, the lights work, uh, wipers work, radio works, uh, air conditioning does work somewhat. Uh, I think it's going to need to be possibly recharged. And that condenser inside that heater box might need to be blowed out or something. But uh, this is amp meter inoperative, but it has this one up here, which is charging the batteries now. Both batteries are on. This one here doesn't seem to work. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but there's wiring and so forth behind these panels. Visors go up and down. All right, now she's on. I can go ahead and try to. trouble here. All right, let's go outside for a minute. Door panels are all good. Showing it, it matches 43, 40,000 miles on it, I would say. Still going to need a little bit of cleanup here and there, but you know, you might want to be changing whatever. Um, but the beacons are on, the side markers are flashing. Uh, it does have the blue and red and that in there. It's going to be kind of a quick video, guys, but I'm going to make you really bored. But this is a rust-free truck. It came from uh, southern Colorado, up in the mountains, where it's really dry, high desert. So, there's no, there's no rust out in this thing at all. It has the worn lockout hubs. It does have the high and low range, um, which I'll show you real quick with that. So, I'm sure most of you know where that's at. There. And I did try that high-low range. Um, I'm going to shut these lights off just so I don't have a truck full of people stopping and wondering if I'm all right here. Give me one second. The back ones do work. The back... Um, now there is, from the former company that had it, there is some sticker that you can still kind of see what it says on here. Um, you might be able to buff it out. I do not have a buffer. These are just compartments. Back bumper, that thing flips up. Inside, just your typical. What I have and what I'm going to show you is what I have. I do not have any other apparatuses or anything. It does have a Honeywell 12 volt making into 120 generator it looks like brand new underneath that seat right there um, I do not know how that starts how it operates there's some solenoids go to it so something else has to tell it to go on I'm not an expert in this stuff I'm sure it works I've had other those those loose in the past and every one I've ever had always worked that one looks like brand new underneath that seat I would assume that it does work. Can't guarantee it 100%, but I'm, I'm going to assume that it does work. Um, it does have the storage stuff, typical inside lighting, plenty. Those work, I believe. Now, that air conditioner right there in that wall says non functional. Don't know the story with that. You turn it on, it doesn't do anything. So, I'm just trying to be fair in this stuff. Um, this door does open also. Like I said, it is a 460 carbureted. This is a step that you step put in the ground. Uh, this is not a refrigerator, just a storage compartment. Um, you know, they did it for search and rescue, so the last people I had to probably use it more for 
um, you know, be a post or something like that, and use it if they had to transport somebody out, search and rescue. Not as far as a daily last number of years that they used it. Uh, they quit using it about two to three years ago, and retired it, and they got a grant. I guess the city got a grant, and they donate them one or something. I don't know what the whole story was. But uh, all that stuff's intact. Now, how it works, I don't know. I, that's going to be up to whoever buys it can figure that out. If you're going to make a camper out of it, cool. Now, it does have a short ceiling in there, so if you're short, it'd be great. If you're six foot, five, five ten, five eleven. You're going to be scrunching down a little bit, just to let you know. Um, but the box itself is in real good shape, and it would be great for a, maybe a smaller volunteer fire department that needed a four-wheel drive for up in the hills as a backup or whatever. Um, but the uh, windshield's good. I will change the oil before it leaves. I haven't done that yet. Um, like I said, the 460, two batteries, um, it's got a brush guard on it. Tires are decent on The front ones are kind of rounding over a little bit, and I don't know why that is. They were low when I got it, and I had some air to them. Um, but they are what they are. But they're usable, I would assume that they would. I took this thing up the road, probably about five, six miles. Um, it runs good. I think the transmission at one time has been rebuilt on this. Um, there is some paperwork in the manuals and so forth that I got for this that says something about that ATR or something like that transmission repair place. Do not have any paperwork when it was done, but usually the way that you get those is when you have a transmission rebuilt and they give you that as a packet for the warranty work. But I don't have any information when it was done. Blah blah blah. Only I have is that to even think about maybe that that it was um, rebuilt. Um, So that you can see up there but the rear tires are decent they are uh, 16 5 tires which are still available don't let nobody tell you you can't get them you can and these are good they probably last you quite a while um, I'm trying to think what else that light up there does work those search lights up top I did not try <clears throat> it looks like there might be a separate switch for a scene light but I do not know how those come on or what switch helps turn that on or what. But, but anyhow, that's what we got. 1982 E350 ambulance. Um, runs good. Goes down the road good. Everything should be fairly decent, ready to go. Like I said, those spotlights are going to need some attention. Uh, air conditioning, if you need that to work 100%, that needs to be looked at and somebody to figure out exactly how and when that generator turns on and some other electrical stuff. It does have dual tanks and they do switch. They both have quite a bit of fuel in them. Probably over half a tank in each tank. Um, it does have that battery out, lockout which I undo every day because there's a lot of wiring in this thing. Uh, no visible signs of mice infestation or anything like that in it. Um, like I said it sat for probably two years plus. Um, and I got it, but it runs good. Uh, they just retired it because it got old, and they got a government grant, either city or government grant, and they gave them, a, gave them theirs, or they got a different one or something. I don't know, some kind of story. It's none of my business, so I didn't cry on that. Like I said, it does have lockout hubs with a shifter between the seats, and that does go in and out very easily. No binding when you put it in. I didn't have any problems getting in and out of four-wheel drive. We're located in western Nebraska, close to Scott's Bluff, about 200 miles northeast of Denver, Colorado, 100 miles northeast of Cheyenne, Wyoming, 440 miles west of Omaha, Nebraska. A lot of people think, oh, it's in Nebraska. It ain't too far. Well, we live in the whole other side of the state, so it is a distance. Any questions, uh, feel free to send me an email and I'll take care of whatever I can for you. Thank you.